Max Weber, Capitalism and Rationalization Max Weber, a renowned sociologist, introduced the concept of rationalization to explain the development of modern society, particularly how it relates to capitalism. In simple terms, rationalization refers to the process of organizing and operating life, work, and society according to reason and logic, focusing on efficiency and predictability. Weber believed that this process of rationalization shaped many aspects of modern life, especially the rise and functioning of capitalism. Capitalism, as we know it today, is an economic system where goods and services are produced and sold for profit in a market. While earlier thinkers like Karl Marx focused on class struggles and the exploitation of labor under capitalism, Weber's approach was different. He was interested in how cultural values, particularly those related to religion, contributed to the development of capitalism. According to Weber, the rationalization of society helped create the conditions necessary for capitalism to thrive. Weber's famous work, The Protestant Ethic and the Spirit of Capitalism, examines the role of religion, particularly Protestantism, in shaping the attitudes and behaviors that supported the rise of capitalism. He argued that the Protestant ethic, especially within Calvinism, encouraged hard work, discipline, and a focus on worldly success. These values were seen as signs of religious devotion and favor in the eyes of God. This mindset, Weber claimed, led to the development of a rational, calculated approach to life and work, which was critical for the growth of capitalist economies. At the heart of Weber's theory of rationalization is the idea that modern life is increasingly governed by rules, regulations, and systems aimed at maximizing efficiency. In traditional societies, people often relied on customs, traditions, and religious beliefs to guide their actions. In contrast, modern societies use reason and logic to organize everything from government and education to businesses and personal lives. This shift toward rationalization, according to Weber, is what enabled the rise of capitalism and modern industrial society. One key aspect of rationalization that Weber focused on was bureaucracy. Bureaucracy is a system of administration that is based on fixed rules, hierarchical structures, and specialized roles. It is designed to ensure that organizations function efficiently and predictably. In Weber's view, bureaucracy is the most rational form of organization because it allows tasks to be divided and carried out systematically. Bureaucracies are essential to the functioning of modern economies and governments as they help maintain order, ensure consistency, and manage large-scale operations. However, Weber was also critical of the effects of rationalization on individuals and society. He believed that while rationalization and bureaucracy increased efficiency, they also dehumanized individuals by turning them into mere cogs in a machine. In his view, people in modern capitalist societies often feel trapped in what he called the iron cage of rationalization. This metaphor of the iron cage represents the idea that as society becomes more rational and bureaucratic, individuals lose their sense of freedom, creativity, and individuality. Life becomes more focused on following rules and achieving goals, leaving little room for personal fulfillment or spontaneity. Weber also highlighted the role of rationalization in capitalism's relentless drive for profit. In a rationalized capitalist economy, businesses are constantly seeking ways to increase efficiency and productivity to maximize profits. This often leads to the use of technology, specialization, and strict organizational structures. While this drive for efficiency can result in economic growth and increased wealth, it can also lead to a focus on profits over people. For example, workers in a highly rationalized system may be treated as replaceable parts, valued only for their ability to contribute to the company's bottom line. In addition to examining the economic aspects of rationalization, 
Weber also considered its impact on other areas of life. For example, he noted that rationalization affected religion, politics, and education. In the religious sphere, rationalization led to the decline of traditional, mystical forms of worship and the rise of more organized, institutionalized religions. In politics, rationalization contributed to the development of modern bureaucratic states, where laws and policies are designed to be applied uniformly and fairly, rather than being based on the whims of rulers or traditional practices. In education, rationalization led to the establishment of formal systems of schooling, where students are taught according to standardized curricula and evaluated using standardized tests. Despite the many advantages of rationalization, such as increased efficiency, predictability, and fairness, Weber was concerned about its negative effects on human creativity, emotional expression, and social relationships. He feared that as societies became more rationalized, individuals would become increasingly disconnected from the deeper, more meaningful aspects of life, such as art, religion, and personal relationships. In Weber's view, the rationalized world of capitalism and bureaucracy could become a cold, impersonal place where people are valued more for their productivity than for their humanity. Weber's analysis of rationalization and capitalism also extended to his critique of modernity. He believed that the process of rationalization was a defining feature of modern life, but he was ambivalent about whether it represented progress. On the one hand, rationalization led to the development of advanced technologies, scientific knowledge, and more efficient systems of governance. On the other hand, it also led to the loss of traditional values, emotional warmth, and human connection. In this sense, Weber viewed modernity as both a source of liberation and a source of alienation. One of the central themes of Weber's work is the tension between rationalization and the irrational aspects of human life. While rationalization promotes efficiency, order, and predictability, it often ignores or suppresses the emotional, spiritual, and creative dimensions of human existence. For example, in a rationalized workplace, emotions such as joy, frustration, or empathy may be seen as distractions from the task at hand. Similarly, in a rationalized education system, creativity and critical thinking may take a back seat to the pursuit of standardized test scores. Weber's ideas about rationalization and capitalism remain highly relevant today. In contemporary societies, we continue to see the effects of rationalization in various aspects of life, from the increasing use of technology and automation in the workplace to the growth of bureaucratic organizations in both the public and private sectors. The tension between efficiency and humanity that Weber identified is still a major issue as businesses, governments, and individuals grapple with the trade-offs between rational systems and the need for personal fulfillment, emotional well-being, and meaningful social connections. In conclusion, Max Weber's concept of rationalization provides a powerful framework for understanding the development of modern capitalist societies. By focusing on the role of reason, efficiency, and bureaucracy, Weber explains how rationalization has shaped the rise of capitalism and continues to influence many aspects of life. While rationalization has brought about significant advancements in productivity, governance, and economic growth, it has also raised important questions about the impact of these changes on human freedom, individuality, and social relations. Weber's insights into the iron cage of rationalization serve as a reminder of the complex and often contradictory nature of modernity, where progress and alienation go hand in hand.